Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm your brother Abu Sumeya. Today we're here with Y Islam in the Big Apple here in Times Square. We're going to see if we ask the pedestrians some questions regarding Islam, the Quran, and Muhammad. Today is going to be an interesting day for me since once I was on the other side of the fence before accepting Islam and now I'm the one asking the questions to see what the people know about Islam, the Quran, and Muhammad. So I ask you all to take this journey with me here in Times Square to see what it is that we see, to see what it is that the people say about Islam, Quran, and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Come and take a walk with me. And what is the first thought that comes to your mind when you see the word Islam? Um, 7-Eleven. Uh, like religious people with things that like cover their head and dark skin, I guess. Like Egypt, like the dancing. Like <laughs> I don't know too much about it. Um, the head wraps, I think. Uh. Religion, yes. Is there anything else that comes to mind when you see the word Islam? Uh, Allah, that's it. I think about the Torah. I think that's a part of Islam, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like the Middle East. Like, no, like... I just know that's like in the Middle Eastern part of the world. Like, not in America. Like, that side of the world. Yeah, I know it's a religion based around the teachings of Muhammad, a uh, prophet, uh, generally thought to be over in the, the Middle East uh, region of the world. Do you know of any Muslims? Do you have any Muslim friends? No. Yes. Yes. From where? Where did you meet them at? And what do you think about Islam Muslims and their pri their faith? From school, and I think it's like because I'm a Catholic, it's a little weird sometimes. But uh, it's interesting to know what how different it is and how the similarities. Yeah, I have some. Where from? Um, I don't know which part, but I know that they're Muslim. Where did you meet them? In school. Uh, my dad's Muslim. Yes. Uh, he is from Mali. So what do you think about Muslims and Islam? I think generally there, there is a slight misconception just because of the media and, and the social media that, that uh, everyone hates us, especially in that region. Uh, that's definitely a misconception. What comes to mind when you hear the word Muslim? Um, religion. Bombing. Uh, Muslim means you want to be a servant of God, is that right? Arabic. So all Muslims are Arabic? Yeah, I, no, I don't know. Okay, so what's the first thought that comes to your mind when you hear the word Ramadan? Culture. Uh, Muslim holiday. I don't know. In, in India? I, I have no idea. Okay. Food? Like not eating food. <clears throat> okay. Holiday. Holiday? Mm -hmm. What's the word? It's um, fasting. fasting. Nothing comes to mind for that, yeah. Um, ramen. next question we want to ask is do you think Muslims believe in Jesus yeah it doesn't like it doesn't matter about your religion you can still believe in some stuff I do believe they uh, believe in Jesus however a different form of Jesus you know like I said Allah uh, yeah they believe in Jesus but it's not um, they it's called something else it's called uh, they don't call it Jesus I don't know what they call it but I know they don't call it Jesus but they call it, they believe in like gods like many gods I think so, you think the Muslims believe in many gods? Uh, yes. Do you think the Muslims also worship Jesus? Some might, yeah. Maybe you might say you're a Muslim because your family is, but you actually believe in other stuff. I think some way they do. And I, uh, I think everybody has like a different view of Jesus, so...
So who is Virgin Mary or, you know, what do you guys think of her? Um, I think that she's cool. She's a cool person. I think so too. She's cool beans. Right. Yeah. She's important in the in history and she is Jesus's mom? No, wife. Wife. Cuz remember she was a virgin and then God put the baby in her stomach. Yeah, and he was like, "Dude, you're going to you're going to deliver my baby." And then that was Jesus and then you know, three kings and then the blessed mother. I forgot the name of it. Um, 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 um. We're horrible. At what about Virgin Mary? Jesus. <laughs> she protects us. Protects us from what? Um, bad things happening to us. Uh, sacred lady. Okay. How about you? Catholics. But does that make Mary the wife of Jesus? No, no. Um, um, the wife of Jesus? No, that would make. Wait, oh, no, that would no, be, no, 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 no the, the wife of God. Okay. Because, yeah. no, because they were never, I'm, Mary is Jesus' mom. I don't know, Jesus, Jesus, Bethlehem, all that stuff. She's, his, she's Jesus' mom, not his wife, and she's God's wife, I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> So who is God and is God and Allah the same thing? I guess. I, I'm not really sure. God is, is like someone that I pray to and like I could go to and like I feel like I don't have anyone to go to and he's like my savior and I don't know who Allah is. So. Like about what she said about God, yeah, but Allah is like the Indian God? I'm not sure. Like he's God somewhere else. Okay. Allah is the same as God. What makes you think that? Because there's one God. Um, God is one person who created the earth. Okay? And uh, that, that name I don't even recognize. So. Well, Allah in general means God or all universal God you, you want to say. Um, different teachings, different um, theologies based on that. Uh, for me, God is Jesus. The universe and stuff like that. So yeah, to me, God, all, uh, that's all the same. That's all just the energy out in the universe and whether, whatever you believe, science, whatever it is, you know, that oneness. And so I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's all the same thing. So the next word, headscarf. I think of like Muslims and how like women don't really have any freedom, like okay. kind of like that. How about you? That thing they wear on, on like, 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 yeah, yeah. You're, you're covering yourself too. So uh, other men or something, or it's only your husband should see the way you look and stuff like that. Just about how the women are, have women have to are forced into, you know, holding back or about being concealed. I'm not really sure the word I'm thinking of, but. Does it remind you of me? <laughs> <laughs> now it does. <laughs> it's very colorful. It is. Fair enough. Uh, Indian. Um, I mean, headscarf for different, uh, I mean, cultures mean different things. Um, but headscarf in the context of Islam would be, um, uh, what do you say, um, you know, trying to cover your beauty. What comes to your mind when you see this picture? Muslims. Okay, although there's a nun in there. Oh, then, oh, oh, oh okay. A nun and someone's covered the beauty, yeah. Uh, both. Religion, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Being religious and the headscarf. I can see religion, I can see um, 
again, um, certain. I mean, I see diversity first of all, but at the same time, I see inhibitions in both religions. When you see this word jihad, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Gee, I had chocolate. <laughs> I don't even know. I never heard of this word. So you've never seen this word on the news at all? No. I swear. Not in Ireland anyway. Uh, I have never seen that word. Never heard of it. <laughs> I've never heard of that word. I might be wrong, but I think it's a religious pilgrimage, is it? Honestly, I don't know a whole lot about jihad, but uh, I will say that, again, I think it's a word that's been skewed towards um, certain maybe imams that have used that as an extremist point of view. To be honest, I think of a scroll. I don't know why. It sounds like something that would be written on a scroll. I know that word really has a negative connotation, and I think originally it maybe didn't have that. Well, that concludes our day of Street Dawa today, right here in Times Square. We decided to take a little bit of a different approach today and thought it'd be a good idea to engage with the people in the streets uh, by asking them surveys, making it very casual. And alhamdulillah, it turned out to be very successful and engaging. And it was great to see that a lot of New Yorkers here were very honest with their answers and we were able to exchange in conversation with them. And it was very, very interesting. And inshallah, we hope to do this again much, much more inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.